it was a good experience and I was just happy that I was able to get a ring and I still keep in contact with some of them now. Talk to me about your docu-series and what what people should expect to see in your docu-series coming out and what's what's it called? Uh, my docu-series is called Hidden Gem Pressure Makes Diamonds. Um, it's really just kind of telling my story about uh, my college experience, my high school experience, moving on through there. Um, the fact that I wasn't drafted, but a lot of um, the people around me were drafted, that I had played every day kind of thing. Um, I proved myself in college. I didn't get to where I felt like I should have gotten. Um, so it's really just about a story of, of an underdog. And I'm showing, I'm telling my story, but then I'm also showing my day-to-day -day life and showing what it's like to be a professional athlete because I do play overseas. Um, and I'm also working my way back to the league. So it's like you get an inside look of my journey back to the league while also taking care of business overseas. So it, it'll be it'll be really cool. It's definitely something that um, a lot of younger athletes should definitely tune into so that they can kind of learn what to expect when they're older and just the process of getting to the next level. I definitely think everybody out there should tune into that because just looking from right now, it seems like it's already going to be an interesting story. You already you proved me you're a winner for sure. You won in high school. You got a ring in college. Now you're moving on to playing pro overseas and the WNBA. So. I think yeah. people should definitely tune into that. How does being an underdog carry over? Like, how does that mindset carry over to the court? Like, talk to me about the chip that you have on your shoulder when you play and what you're out there trying to prove and stuff. Oh, yeah. I mean, I feel like I'm out there trying to prove all the time. Um, and it's not just when you step out on the court, like in front of fans. It's when you're alone in the gym late at night. You're waking up at 6 a.m. to go get these workouts in. You're meeting up with people to help them, to, to ask them to help you get better. Uh, you're asking random, like random friends, hey, can we play one-on-one? -on -one? Because I need to learn how to do this, learn how to do that. Um, so, you know, it's, a, it's, it's definitely a lifestyle, being an underdog and having that mindset because, like, it sucks sometimes. It really does because you feel like people aren't giving you your props. People aren't, like, expecting you to be something. So the fact that every day you're like, no, I'm going to be there. Like, I'm, I'm going to do it and I'm going to prove everybody wrong, you know, that – that's a great feeling when you do it. So um, I definitely have my moments when I have proved people wrong. And every day I'm doing it more and not just to prove everybody else wrong, but just to kind of be ready for myself and do it for me. I think that that's something that everybody can take from hearing you, hearing you speak. Being an underdog or being overlooked or underrated, whatever the case may be, is always going to be tough. It's never going to be easy. Yeah. But if it was easy, then it wouldn't, you wouldn't be the underdog. So I think that's like really important. And also, like you said, just it's a lifestyle and staying dedicated, even though you're not getting the recognition you feel you deserve or that you actually yeah. might, you actually might deserve. Sometimes yeah. you might not, you might not be ready for the opportunity. Like you might not be ready for what you're expecting. Like you might not be ready to play where you think you should be playing and you just have to grind it out and keep working hard. And then, yeah. like you said, like you're seeing the benefits of all that hard work and being consistently consistent. So yes. I think you just got to stay consistent and work hard, work smart, and you could easily just, well, not easily, but you can achieve what you want to achieve if you put your mind to it. Yeah, for sure.